Hi folks, today I'm going to do a bit of a test and also an experiment. I have this Power Queen 200 amp hour deep cycle lithium iron phosphate battery and I want to see if I can use that battery to charge my riding lawnmower. In an emergency I might have to do that, so I want to see if I'm able to do it. Now not being able to cut your grass may not seem like an emergency, but to me that would be. And there's the lawnmower, it's a Ryobi brushless riding lawnmower. Previously I had converted this to lithium iron phosphate and I use that to mow my grass. The batteries are right in there. Ordinarily I would charge this using a 48 volt power supply and I also have a 48 volt solar charge controller. But if for some reason I couldn't use those and I only had 12 volts, how am I going to charge a 48 volt ready lawnmower from a 12 volts power supply? The answer hopefully is to use something like this board here, which I've actually never used before, to bring the voltage from 12 volts up to about 50 volts DC and see if I can charge my mower with that. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. In theory, this battery holds about two and a half kilowatt hours of power if I fully charge it. My lawnmower would require about one to two kilowatt hours, depending on how much grass I have mowed with it. Right now, it needs about one kilowatt of energy put into it. And of course, because I'm a professional, I'm gonna use a bunch of alligator clips to hook this up. Well, in an emergency, you have to have alligator clips. They can save you from a lot of trouble, but you gotta be very careful making the connections because they're not permanent and they could fall off or cause a short circuit. Here's a quick look at the circuit board that I'm going to use to try to do the charging. It is a DC to DC boost converter and it's programmable so you can have it do whatever you want. So first thing I need to do is I need to connect the input and I'm gonna use a fuse for that. And I think that for this test, I can get away with an automotive fuse and I'm really thinking that probably 15 amps would be enough. So I'll just pick a 15 amp fuse I think that will do for now. Just to be safe, bear in mind that this is an emergency charging setup and would not be something I would want to leave in place from day to day, but in a pinch, it can do the job. We've got a blue alligator clip going from the red positive terminal to the fuse, out of the fuse, and right here. This will be the positive input to the DC converter board. Okay, now I'm gonna power up the DC converter with the positive connection. Okay, and it says it's on. 54 volts, that's about right. Actually, it um, needs to be a little bit higher than that because I'm using a diode just for safety. I don't have a proper cable to attach to the lawnmower, so I have to go figure something out. I'll come right back when that's done. Well, this is where it starts to get a bit sketchy. The only cable I could find for my mower that will get the power into it is, believe it or not, an IEC cord because my mower uses an IEC port for the charging. This is the only thing that fits right now. So yeah, it's starting to look a bit sketchy, but uh, I assure you that there's 48 volts on these two terminals. And uh, of course I would only do this during an emergency. And just to demonstrate the presence of 48 volts on this plug and to determine what the polarity is because it's DC, I'm gonna connect my trusty little GE multimeter this is professional sketchiness. Do not attempt at home. This is just a demonstration of an emergency scenario. It's not a tutorial. So I have 48 volts on this plug coming from my lawnmower. Let's go ahead and verify that using the voltmeter. And you can see I'm getting 53 point something volts on this core because it's attached to the battery pack inside of my lawnmower. Now I can go ahead and proceed to try charging through this cable using the DC power supply that I just set up. I have set up this power supply to put out about a half an amp of current just to try this out to see if it will work. I will then turn it up higher if it works. Okay, let's turn this on and see if it will produce the voltage that I need. 54.5 volts. And depending on how this diode behaves, I may need to set that higher or lower, but let's just go ahead and give it a try. Yep. And it's putting out 28 watts. There is a closer look at the display, 28 watts. Of course, it isn't very much. Let's try a little bit more than that. Let's turn it off and set it to something like one amp. Let's try two amps. That should be enough. And I don't need to charge them over very fast. I just need it to charge. And let's give it a try. So it's only putting out 0.56 amps. So let's try turning the voltage up a bit. There we go. Let's 
try it again. There we go, two amps. Hope this little board can handle it. It should be able to. And the fan has come on, and we're getting 110 watts. I don't know if this board is okay with that or not, but I've never actually tested it. We'll see. All right, we're making quite a lot of noise here. It's making a high-pitched sound. That diode is getting pretty warm, but it is charging. Now, I charge this mower at a pretty low rate because it's really not urgent. It uses uh, two to three days to charge, unless I'm in a hurry. So 82 watts, I've lowered it down. It may not sound like a lot, but if it sits there and charges for eight, nine hours, that's coming up on a kilowatt hour of energy. With this solution, if it works, I have an emergency source of charging power for my lawnmowers. Or I could use any 12 volt battery or 12 volt system to charge my 48 volt mower. Let's take a look at the voltage. The camera makes it very hard to read. It's actually very easy to read in person, but the camera makes it hard. So 53.5 volts. And certainly this would take several hours to charge, but as long as this DC converter doesn't overheat or burn up, which I hope it doesn't. As it turns out, that diode there is getting a little bit too hot for my taste. I probably don't need it, but I put it there anyway based on past experience, just for safety. Since this is a new setup that I'm trying. That's a DC blower fan right there, connected to my portable USB power bank. Let's go ahead and power it up and see what happens. Okay, it seems to be running well. About 80 watts. I don't really feel the need to push the setup too hard because it's a trickle charge and as long as it does the job in a couple of days I don't mind. I've been running this setup for a while now and it seems to be functioning well. As long as I keep the fan running it just gets a little bit warm. It's not hot so it's not dangerous and the fan is taking care of the diode. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief demonstration of an emergency power setup for charging my 48 volt riding lawnmower. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.